Week 11 is upon us, folks. That means it's time for more Ravens football here on WPOE. I'm b -Ron, and today the Ravens return home to play host to the Houston Texans. Baltimore enters 7-2 on the season. Meanwhile, Houston entering at 4-5 on the year. As the Ravens come out to a raucous crowd here at MNT Bank Stadium. Stories coming into this game, multiples, as a matter of fact. Both Marquise Hollywood Brown and Matthew Judon are returning to action today. Both have recovered from their injuries. We will see Judon wearing an elbow brace on the dislocated uh, arm, that injury that he suffered earlier in the season. Marquise Brown back after a broken collarbone. And Mark Andrews today. He was feeling really good about his game last week. And where was it? He talked to Coach Reed and said, Coach, I feel like I'm ready to break out and take the next step to become a superstar player in the league. So today, we'll have to see what the game plan is to get Mark Andrews involved in the passing game a lot more. As the Texans will receive the ball first, Kiki Kuti is back to receive the kick. Can a superstar be born today? It's time to find out as Tucker sends this one away. Here we go. Fielded by Kuti. He's going to bring it out to about the 24 before being taken down by two Ravens. Going to go handoff first play and nowhere to go. Earl Thomas making the hit. On Duke Johnson, nowhere for him to go. Loss of a yard, second and 11. Second and 11 after the one yard loss from Johnson. After hit by Earl Thomas. Watson in the shotgun formation again. You're going to go back to Johnson here. And this time getting good chunk of yards. They're going to go to him here on third down. Looking to the tight end. That's a catch. First down for Houston. First and 10 from the, from the Houston 38. Houston in the white jerseys, blue pants. Baltimore in the purple jerseys with the white pants. Johnson makes a catch, jukes a man, and take it down after a good gain after the catch. Looking at the Baltimore defense here, defensive line, Brandon Williams, Michael Pierce, and Chris Wormley. Linebackers, you see him there, Matthew Judon. You see the elbow brace there on the, on the elbow that he got injured early in the season. And in five, once again, shotgun formation here for Houston. Snap, Watson looking to throw, throws it out, right side, caught in bounds, and down to the 47. Third and one, expect some pressure here, Baltimore crowding the line, single formation, going screen, and that's caught out to the left side, sideline here, that's Will Fuller, down to the 23, who will be taken out of bounds. After the 30 yard run from Fuller, it's first and 10 from Baltimore's 23. Handoff, Johnson, left side, gate of three, second and seven, single back trips receivers to the right side here, Watson looking to throw, he's got time and throws it, knocked away, nobody can get a hand on it though, they fall to the turf, third and seven, shotgun formation, great slot left, Watson just back looking to throw, that's caught Fuller again, first down, first and goal, from the eight, Texans knocking on the door, looking to score here on their first drive. Play or option here, I almost called play action. I thought there was, but nope. Read option for Watson going nowhere. Patrick Owasso, here to lose yards on the play too. So second and goal from the 12 after a loss on the last play from Watson. Shotgun formation, another read option here. Watson takes it. Back up to the seven. Third and goal, single back formation. Baltimore looking to hold strong on the opening drive. Watson looking to throw. Scrambles out to his right, looks, and dumps it off short to Bray. Not the smartest throw, but a throw he made nonetheless. Fourth down, though, as, Jude, as uh, McPhee is there to make the play. We'll see Kai Fairbairn come on to kick the field goal here to give Houston the 3-0 lead. 
kick is up and it's good Texans strike first on their opening drive getting a field goal kick is away and that's a good one sent to the back of the end zone here as Jones just gonna take a knee out to the 25 so here we go time to see what this offense can do Lamar Jackson six touchdowns nine interceptions on the season 1,200 yards on the year so far he's done most of his work through the ground game this year though first and ten here we go single back formation three tight ends in the set here and Marquise Brown is out on the left side of the formation here what do they do first and ten looking for Brown and that's a catch getting him involved early I see nicely done there second and three as Roby was there to make the play on Brown Ingram in the backfield he's gonna get the carry and maybe get a yard if that get the Baltimore offense here Marshall Yonda a aging but solid veteran on the offensive line and third and two here we go what does Baltimore do here they're trying to avoid going on three and out to start Houston scored with points what does Baltimore have in store and there's some movement up front who are we getting it's false start on the offense. Can you blame Brown though being guarded, being uh, across from JJ Watt over there though, really? Third and seven after the penalty though. Looking to throw, Jackson under pressure and gets there. Down, McKinney to make the sack. Baltimore forced a punt on their first drive, a three and out for them. Not the start they wanted at all. As the punt is away and fair catch is made at the 32. First and 10 from the 32. Watson looking to throw. Left side caught by that man DeAndre Hopkins. There he is. Spoke him up. First catch on the slant route there. And there's some movement up front here. As now Baltimore hit with another penalty on the defense this time. That is in neutral neutral zone infraction on Brandon Williams. First and five from the 42 of Baltimore. Watson drops back looking to throw. Side steps the rush and knocked away Marlon Humphrey there after the incompletion to Hopkins and a great coverage there from Humphrey. Shotgun formation Watson looking to run on the option and going nowhere. Third and six it's Marlon Humphrey crashing down now third and six. We see some pressure here from Baltimore. Come from the Raven 44. Here we go. Watson looks left. Comes back right side and nowhere for him to go. That's what we call a coverage sack. Michael Pierce. Fourth and 15. We'll punt this one away. First time we've seen him today. He punted four times last in their last game. And that's a good one. Down to the six. Really good punt there from Anger. Houston defensive line. They've got a really tough front. J.J. Watt on the right side, and there's a run for Ingram. Ingram takes a hit from McKinney. Gets a couple of yards. Not much, though. And a look at the Texan defense here. J.J. Watt again. Penodrick McKinney. Look out for him. Merciless. Jonathan Joseph. Bradley Roby. They've got some solid plays on this defense. It was just five, five seconds left in the first quarter. Looking to throw, and that's Brown! He cannot make the catch as he drops the ball. Third and eight after the drop from Marquise Brown. Shotgun formation, three seconds left in the first quarter of play. Jackson now looking to throw. Throws on the run, caught by Sneed, and down to the 29. That's how we'll end the first quarter of play. Houston out in front with the field goal lead, three to zero. Now here we go, looking to throw as Mark Andrews, first catch for him on the day. I said in the pregame earlier, he felt like he was ready to break out. It's a good start for him, getting the first catch out of the way. After the catch by Mark Andrews, here we go, up the middle, Ingram gets enough falling forward there for the first down. After the run from Ingram, picks up the first on a gain of four. First and ten. Watt coming off. Jackson's gonna get away and there's a flag on the field play probably will not count It will not that's holding on Baltimore on Ronnie Stanley 
After the hold penalty, it's first and 20. Jackson in the shotgun, Ingram to the left side. In the backfield, now looking to throw. That is caught by Andrews. Maybe a different play that they wanted to run there. Plays got mixed up in the playbook there, but it doesn't matter. It worked out. Second and four. But here we go. Third and ten. Baltimore looking to throw over to Brown. Who does make the catch that time. Holding on through the hit there from Roby. Solid coverage there as well. But Brown able to make the catch. Give him a little bit of space. He's open. It's a dangerous throw there. That could have been bad news, but Brown was able to step in front to make the catch. Now they're first and ten for Baltimore. Shotgun formation. On the angle route, finds Ingram, and Ingram, first down catch, up to the 23. Now Edwards takes his place in the backfield as Ravens in the shotgun, first and 10 on the 23. Looking to throw, finds Brown. Brown is going to be taken down at the 6. Here we go, Ravens now moving and grooving. First and goal coming up, and first and goal from the 6. What does Baltimore do? They've passed the ball pretty well to get down here. Do they throw again? They are going to go play action. Jackson looking to throw. Maybe. Now taking off and running into the end zone. Touchdown. Ravens. Waving the boys around into the end zone. Follow me, Lamar Jackson says. Getting them into the end zone and getting the first score of the day. Did the right thing in my opinion. Tucking it, running it, getting six points. It is up and good. Baltimore, seven to three, now in the lead. For the first time in this one. 11 plays, 96 yards, five minutes and 18 seconds off the clock. Capped off by a Lamar Jackson rushing touchdown. Houston, single back formation to start the drive. Going to hand it off here to Johnson up the middle. Or Lamar Miller there on the carry. My apologies. Second and seven. Second and seven after the carry from Miller. Jackson or looking to throw is Watson. Throws out right side. That's a catch. Down to the 37. Single back formation here. Going to go counter and breaks through one tackle. Can't break through another one. Does Lamar Miller... Second and eight for the Texans. Houston had a bye week last week, but week prior to had a win against Jacksonville, 20 to 10. As this carry for Miller is going to go nowhere. Empty formation here for Houston. Here we go, looking to throw. Watson knocked away. Marlon Humphrey reading the route, getting in there on Hopkins in time to knock the ball away. Anger now back to punt this one away. Second time we've seen him today. As this is a good one returnable though, Jones is going to field it and get up to the 20 yard line before being taken down. 11 yard return for Cyrus Jones. I said it was going to be a tough day for him to try and get any sort of running room. Power eye formation though for Baltimore. Ingram on the carry and up to the 24. And they're going to go play action here. Looking to throw downfield and overthrowing Sneed. Luckily, it was not intercepted, though, after the incompletion. Good idea, though, for Jackson taking the shot downfield to Sneed. Jackson looking to throw and just dump, tried to dump it off short to Ingram, but couldn't get it to him in time before JJ, JJ Watt came in and took him down. Oh, fourth and six. As that's a good one, returnable. And taken down at the 29. After the two teams exchange punts, here we go, first and 10. 2.57 left in the first half as carry right side. That is Miller up to the 30. Gain of a yard. Second and nine as the Texans go empty here. Nobody back protecting Watson. He's looking to throw. Throw is dropped by the tight end there. Now third and nine. Looking to avoid a three and out here is Houston. 218 left in the second quarter. Watson drops back looking to throw, moves to his right. Takes a shot downfield and no catch. Hopkins was streaking down the field. 
The safety got back there in time. Peter back to punt. Been a busy man so far in this one. Already now three punts for him on the day. As Jones back to return. And up to the 22. Missed him dearly, but it's good to see him back and playing on the field again. First and 10, one of they do. Looking to throw. Throw out to Andrews, who makes the catch. And there's a face mask penalty coming up, I'm sure. They will indeed get the face mask. So tack on 15 extra yards. Minute warning up to the 41-yard line of, of Houston. Here we go, first and 10. Baltimore looking to maybe score again before halftime here. Looking to throw and throw to Andrews off the mark. Jackson tried to throw on the run there. After the run there from Ingram gets a couple of yards. Watt was there on the tackle. Third and six. Now looking to throw in. That's Andrews. Making the catch. Getting out to the left side here and down to the 24. Jackson's not shy about throwing the ball today. They're letting him sling it. First and ten. One minute left in the first quarter of play in this one. Jackson's looking to throw, but he's going to get taken down. Merciless in there to make the hit on Jackson. That's Houston's second sack of the day. Now, second and 19 after the sack from Merciless. Sneed coming in motion. They're going to give the ball to him. Now go jet sweep. Sneed has room up the sideline. Out of bounds at the 21. Good job, though, too, from Sneed. Taking the sweep and getting out of bounds. Pistol formation here for Baltimore. Now Jackson looking to throw. Andrews makes the catch. And taken down, but there's a flag on the field. That's a holding penalty. Play's not going to count. Hold is on Orlando Brown. Third and 17 for Baltimore after the holding penalty. Now Jackson in the shotgun looking to throw. Moves to his left and does make the throw out to Moore. It's off the mark and fourth down upcoming. Come on to attempt a field goal 48 yards in length. His first one of the day. We'll see what he can do. Kick is up and Mr. Automatic is just that. 10-3 Baltimore. 15 seconds left in the second quarter of play. Now Tucker on to send this one away. Sending this one through the back of the end zone. After the false start, Houston second and 15 out in the pistol formation. And they're going to hand it off to Miller. Covering the ball up to the 24 as we head to the locker room. Baltimore does have the lead. 10 to 3. Let's go around the league at halftime as we always do and take a look at some of these scores. Pittsburgh and Cleveland, our first one up as Cleveland defeats Pittsburgh in a divisional game 34 28. Mayfield, two touchdowns. Roethlisberger, three touchdowns in the loss. Really good game there. Down to Miami as Buffalo is facing the Dolphins and they're on top in that one 14 0. We'll see Buffalo later in the season, but for right now, they're playing really well. 8-1 and one on the year. Allen, two touchdowns. Impressive. And finally, over to Carolina. Atlanta over the Falcons right now. Right, Atlanta over the Panthers right now. 14-7. Matt Ryan, touchdown. Will Greer, touchdown for him as well. Both quarterbacks playing the ball really well. Here in our game, haven't seen a whole lot to talk about. Like I said, mostly a defensive contest we'll get to the second half here in a bit as the Ravens will get the ball to start Cyrus Jones will field it in the end zone but just kneel it down there comes Lamar Jackson and the offense off of their first drive of the second half one touchdown for him so far on the day the one rushing touchdown from Lamar Jackson they've been hurt by penalties though from being honest on the offensive side They've had drives killed by penalties. Let's, let's see if they can avoid those. Coach Reed wants to clean those up as the first throw is going out to tight end Mark Andrews. Getting a lot of work today. Second and six after the catch and run from Andrews. Single back formation here. And they're going to go with a counter play here. Looking to throw. And that is off the mark intended for Willie Sneed, I'm guessing. 
poor throw from Jackson. Uh, not the best we've seen from him as Baltimore is going to go three and out to start. Cook now on to punt this one away. This is his second of the day, if I recall. And here we go. Fair catch is made at the 27. How will the Texans respond after Baltimore goes three and out to start? Single back formation here. Miller in the backfield. Watson looking to throw. Throws it downfield. Intended for the tight end. Knocked away there. Jimmy Smith. Now second and 10 as we see Jefferson come, come up into the box here. Shotgun formation. Receiver in motion. That's Fuller. And going to go run play. Jefferson. Good thing he was up in the box. He was blitzing and they made him pay for it. Houston looking to avoid going three and out. Shotgun formation, looking to throw. Caught by Hopkins, good job there from Humphrey. Anger now back to punt this one away. Humphrey, three tackles on the day. That's a great punt if you're Baltimore, because that's gonna come back to the 20 yard line. Or Edwards in the backfield to start as we're in the eye formation. We're going to toss out to Edwards now. Edwards with some running room. Makes a man miss. Stiss arm breaks through a few tackles. Makes another man miss. And down the sideline goes Gus Edwards. Can he go the distance? He, no, he does not. Down to the one. Huge run from Gus Edwards. Showing off everything he had there. The power, the speed, the agility. Everything was on display. He could not make the play go all the way, however. Unfortunately, down to the one there. Couldn't get in the end zone. Juke move, bam. Stiff arm here. And then you get another juke move later on in the play. Just what a two broken tackles. What an impressive run there. Not much more to say about that one. Wow. Off to Ingram. Ingram is stopped short. Cannot get in the end zone. Second and goal. Looking to throw is Jackson. Takes off. Throws. Looking for Boyle. Incomplete. Penalty penalties are really hurting them today. What do they do here from the 11? Looking to throw to the end zone. Mark Andrews. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Baltimore forced to kick a field goal. That's really disheartening. If you're, the, if you're the Baltimore, you get down here to the one yard line after the big play from Gus Edwards and you can't get the ball into the end zone. Justin Tucker now on to attempt the short field goal attempt. It's up and good. 10 point lead here, 13 to three. Baltimore out in front, but boy, it's uh, really frustrating out there for the Ravens getting down to the one yard line, not being able to finish the job. That's uh, Kuti back to field it. And down to the 26 side of the formation single back. Watson looking to throw and incomplete. Knocked away. Intended for break the tight end. He's going to get the ball on the handoff and go left side. Met by Brandon Carr. Third and 12. Now a third and 12. Watson in the shotgun formation. Looking to throw here. Throwing it to the seam. Knocked away. Hard hit from Earl Thomas. Knocks out of the hands of QT. Going to go counter run. And that's a poor decision. As Edwards loses yards on that one. Second and 12. Second and 12. Pistol formation. Spread them out here. Does Baltimore. Four receivers. Brown, Sneed, Moore, and Boykin in that order. There we go. Looking to throw. Nowhere. Jackson gets away. Jukes a man. And gets out to the 33. Good job here from Jackson. Making something out of nothing there. Everything was covered really well. He stood in the pocket for as long as he possibly could. Avoided the rush and made something happen there. When, as I said, there was nothing there. That's what he can do. And 10 after the run from Jackson got him there to the 33. Looking to throw here and Watt comes through untouched. That's a sack. J.J. Watt. First one of the day for him. That's a big loss. Second and 20 now. Don't have many plays in your playbook to pick up third and 20. 
But what do they have in store here? Jackson looking to throw. And fires deep down the field. Triple coverage. Sneed cannot make the catch. That's the first time we've seen Jackson take a shot deep this game. Second time. The deep shot earlier to Sneed was an overthrow. This one intended for Sneed. But good thing it fell incomplete because there were three Texan defenders in the area. One of them being Bradley Roby. Roby got his hand on it too, but couldn't bring it down. We're going to run a route here as Watson throws. Quick throw to Brait. Tight end makes a catch. Second and six. Shotgun formation. Watson now looking to throw. Throw is short to Hopkins. Spins away from one man. Breaking the tackle of Levine. And third and one coming up. Baltimore pressing the, pressing the receivers on the outside here. Going to go play action. And now throwing short. Ready for it is the Raven defense. Patrick Owasso in there to make the hit. Starting another drive here. Jackson looking to throw. Scrambles out to his right and slides down after picking up the first down. Ten more yards for Jackson. Three rushes for 31 yards on the day for him. After the first down run from Jackson, here we are. Another first and ten on the 30. Single back formation. Ingram in the back. We're going to get the handoff up the middle. And get a gain of three. We're second and seven. No second and seven. Just under a minute left here in the third quarter. 50 seconds to go. As Sneed comes in motion. On a play action. And pressure is there. Sacked. Reader in there to make the sack. First of the day for him. Fourth as a team for Houston. Jackson didn't feel the pressure. As Reader got there quickly. After beating his man off the block. DJ Reader making the sack as this one is boomed away. It's a good punt. Fieldable, but Muth Cutie has trouble picking it up. He does, however, manage to pick it up. Breaks the tackle and up to the 15. Dangerous play there. First and 10. It's fourth quarter time. What does the fourth quarter have in store for us? First drive. Watson looks to throw and knocked away there. Great coverage there. Knocking the ball away. Second and 10. Second and 10. Watson back empty. Bunch receivers in the formation here. Watson throwing. Caught by Brait. 10 10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Watson throws. Caught by Fuller. And gets, a, gets some extra yards there. First down for Houston. They're going to keep the drive going. Fuller's third catch of the day. 35 yards. After the catch from Fuller, Watson looking to throw, rolls out to his right again, again, and nothing doing as time runs out. That's Pernell McPhee getting in there for the sack. A second and 19 after the sack from Pernell McPhee on the last play. Nine minutes to go, single back shotgun formation here. Watson looking to throw, dumps it off to Johnson. Nothing doing there though. Third and 16. Gain of a few yards there. Now third and th third and 16. Looking to throw is Watson. Downfield. Good catch. But the Ravens do a good job. Playing back to the sticks. Letting him throw the short stuff. But corralling quickly is Patrick Owasso to make the tackle on Duke Johnson. To bring up a fourth and seven. 13 to three. Baltimore is going to get the ball back here as Cyrus Jones is going to field the punt and maybe makes a few men miss up to the 17-yard line. Ravens from their own 17 to start this drive. If send at least some more. 10 points isn't enough if you're the Ravens. And Watts, Watt is in the face of Jackson, but Jackson now gets away, has blockers and a bunch of room to run down the field, getting out of bounds at the 37 of Houston. What a run. From Lamar Jackson. He saw the pressure that time and hard not to with Watt screaming at him. Getting away, getting some key blocks from Ingram and his receivers down the field. And they're going to go reverse the sneeze. Going to get the ball. Break away from one man 
and cannot do anything else after that. Losing a yard there. Good idea on the trickery, on the reverse play. We saw that back in Kansas City, but not much since then. Now second and 11. After the reverse run play from Sneed, lost a yard. Looking to run is Ingram up the left right side there through the hole created. Baltimore comes in with the 29th ranked offense in the league. So far today, 322 yards of total offense. So a good job there today. Third and four for Baltimore. Looking to throw is Jackson throwing out to Boykin, who makes the catch first down. That's the first time I've called his name all day. This time in the red zone. Looking to throw for Andrews. Caught and touchdown. Ravens, Mark Andrews. First receiving touchdown of the day for him. He's looking to take that next step towards superstardom. And that's a good start for him. Making it a 20-3 lead. Up and good. 20-3. Baltimore in the lead. 5.35 to go in the game. Great drive there. Capped off by a Mark Andrews touchdown catch. Now Tucker on to send this one away. Really good kick there from Tucker as it goes into the end zone. Where QT is going to just take the knee. And quickly. First and 10 from their 25. Watson looking to throw. Drops back, now throws, and incomplete. Looking right side, but finds no one but the chain gang there. Second and ten at the incompletion. Looking to throw, right side, caught. And down to the 33-yard line, now third and two. That was Kiki QT, his first catch of the day. Third and two now for the Ravens, for the Texans. Empty. Hopkins makes the catch, has to come back for it. But does a good job of crossing the first down marker there and picking up. Empty formation here. Looking to throw and that is knocked away incomplete. Earl Thomas coming in and laying the boom down. Maybe in the zone after that really hard hit there. As Watson looks to throw again and that's intercepted. Jimmy Smith on the play. Picking off the intended pass for Will Fuller. That's his third interception this season. And with Smith being in a contract year, I'm sure any plays he can make to solidify himself getting a contract here with Baltimore and coming back for about half his career is going to be good for him. Look at that. Jackson in the offense come back out onto the field. Only the first turnover today of the game for both teams. As Baltimore still content to throw, looking across the middle, caught by Brown. And down to the 33. Second and four, pistol formation, three receivers to the right side. That's Andrews, Boykin, and Sneed. But they're going to hand off here to Ingram up the middle. Good run, first down. As Baltimore continues to run the clock away. Ingram, 12, 12 carries, 39 yards on the day for it. And Ingram going to get the carry on the read option as, as Jackson makes the right choice there. Gets a gain of five. And Baltimore is content to let this run down to the two-minute warning here. At maybe a few here and there, but not much I'd imagine as the second and five pistol formation spread out of the receivers. Jackson hands to Ingram. Ingram picks up the first down on the read option. Out here again in the pistol. Now that is Moore coming in motion. He's going to get the handoff on the sweep. And fight through. Break a few tackles up to the one. And second and goal. Now second and goal from the one. One minute left in this one. Baltimore can probably just salt the rest of the clock away. They're going to let the clock run down as much as it possibly can. We'll see what they decide to do here. They're going to have to run the play regardless. So as they do get the playoff. And Edwards is going to be met here. That is down to the two. Losing a yard. They're going to have to kneel it. 
But it's not going to matter as the last five seconds will tick away. As Baltimore is going to win this one. 20 to 3. Baltimore moves to 8 and 2 on the year. Meanwhile, Houston falls to 4 and 5. 4 and 6 on the season. Falls from 4 and 5 to 4 and 6 on the season. You know what I meant, guys. <laughs> Was a really fun game. Baltimore really did everything right. He took care of the football. Jackson got hit a few times, but the big thing was they took care of the football and they got the points when they needed them. Mark Andrews looked really good today. I don't know if he took the next step today, but he looked really good in the in the win. Jackson, 200 yards through the air passing. It was a really solid game all around. Week 11 has wrapped up, folks. So now it's time to go around the league for our own weekly wrap-up. Starting in Cleveland, where we saw the Browns defeat the Steelers in their update during our Ravens game, 34-28. to In Carolina, we saw them lose. We saw them losing to the Falcons in that game, but they came back and won the game, 27-24. Meanwhile, in Detroit, Dallas gets it done over the Lions, 24-12. Indianapolis, the Colts defeat the Jaguars, 31-7. Buffalo shuts out Miami 28-0. Here in Baltimore, we saw Ravens defeat the Texans 20-3. Minnesota wins a close one by two points at home against the Broncos 20-18. Meanwhile, the Jets win against the Washington Redskins by 10, 20-10. 27-10, Saints march over the Buccaneers at home 28-17, the 49ers defeat the Cardinals at home in Levi Stadium. Oakland, I believe that's their first win of the season. There we go. Claps all around for Oakland. Finally getting their first win of the season as they defeat the Bengals 14-7. New England over the uh, Eagles 30-13. And the Rams lose to the Bears at home 24-21 in the Sunday night game. Meanwhile... In the Monday night game, the Chargers defeat the Chiefs at home 17-10. to Take a look at the standings now, starting with the AFC North. Baltimore out in front, leading the division now, 8-2. The Browns are 7-3, Steelers 6-3-1, and, and the Bengals 4-6. and six. Texans, with their loss last week to us, are now tied for first place with the Titans, 4-6. Both teams, well, three teams rather tied for first place. Titans, Texans, and Colts. Meanwhile, the Jaguars, 2-8 and eight in the division. The East, Bills out in front, 9-1 and one now on the year. Jets, 6-4. and four. Patriots, 3-7, and seven, tied with the Dolphins. 3-7 and seven records for both of those teams. Battle for last place, possibly? Patriots in last place in the division? Could it possibly happen? Gasp, shock, awe. All those words. I don't know. We'll find out, though. There's still plenty more games about the play. AFC West time now. Chargers 9-2. First place in that division. Meanwhile, the Chiefs are 6-5. Broncos 2-8. Raiders are 1-9. NFC North Bears 8-2. Lions 7-3. Vikings 4-6-1. Packers 3-5. And two ties on the year for them. 8-2. Panthers 5-4-1. Buccaneers 3-7. Falcons 2-8. Saints grooving, though, so far this year. Cowboys atop the NFC East. Always tough division to play in. 8-2 and two on the year for the Cowboys. Meanwhile, the Giants sit at 6-4. and four. Eagles at 5-5. Five and five, And the Redskins at 2-8. and eight. Finally, the NFC West. Rams atop the division. 7-3. and three. Meanwhile, the Seahawks are 5-4-1. and one. 49ers at 5-5. Five and, five, and the Cardinals, 3-8. and eight. If you are keeping score at home, there are no longer any winless teams in the NFL because, as we saw as we saw earlier, the Raiders got their first win of the season. They can finally get the goose egg off the win total for them. There's one thing to take away from this season. You can win a game, Oakland. You can do it. We're proud of you here at WPOE. We're proud of you. We knew you could do it. We're rooting for you to win at some point. You got it. And against a division rival of ours from the lesson in Cincinnati. So good for you for helping us out some more too. 
on to the players of the week for week 11. Starting in the AFC, it is our own Lamar Jackson, second time winning the award for him this year. 204 passing yards, two touchdowns for him combined, one in the air, one on the ground. He was 16, 15 of 25 passing with 82 yards on the ground. And Vaughn Miller for the defensive side of the AFC, seven tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble. The ever-dominant Vaughn Miller there in Denver still doing his thing defensively. A cornerstone, a rock of that Broncos defense. In the NFC, Mitchell Trubisky is getting the award this week. 317 passing yards, two touchdowns in the air. Nine rushing yards and rushing touchdown for him to make it three total touchdowns for Trubisky. He's trying to prove people wrong. He had a lot of doubters coming in. And it seems like he's taking the next step to become a top two quarterback in the league anyway. At least with this stat line, anyway, it's looking pretty good. And for the defensive side of the NFC, it's Leighton Van Der Esch from Dallas. Eight tackles and two sacks for him. Get him the award this week. With the college season coming to a close, now it's going to be one of the few times still we're going to get to a chance to talk about some of these college players. So let's get to it. First up this week is Sean Nixon. Nixon comes from SMU, the Mustangs. He's a run stopper. He's a big dude, 6'6", 281 pounds. He's got scary raw ability. He needs to work on his technique, though, which is a little, it's a little raw around the edges, but he's got a lot of talent, and he's put it on display. He could probably lead the nation in sacks if he had better technique on some of his, some of his, some of his moves, but... It's going to be fun to see what he can do at the next level. Him and the next guy on our list, which we will get to here. Kenneth Billings is one of the top projected players in the class at the right end position. Most of the edge rushers in the class are coming from small schools, the top players anyway. Don't let that fool you though, because these guys can play ball, and Billings is one of them. From San Jose State, at 22 years old, 6'2", 250 pounds. He is extremely quick and can get around the edge with ease. His only knock, really, is lack of awareness. Seems like that could be a concern for him, but if he can improve upon that, you can always teach that. As it gets, as you get, as you get better, you get in the league more. You can always teach awareness and get getting better about sensing things and all that stuff. But the physical, physical stuff, you can't teach that. If Billings can work on his awareness, I think he'll be a solid player in the league. And with, with uh, Williams getting older on the Ravens' defensive line, the Ravens will probably be looking to replace him. And I can't think of a better guy to replace him with than with Nixon or Billings. But we'll see how the draft works and where the pieces will fall. And finally, the college football playoffs are among us. It is time to get things going with all of that. The playoffs are set. The top four teams are in place. And here they are, Alabama, Florida State, Georgia, and USC. Next week, I'll go through the first round of games, and we'll see how those turn out as we get closer to the national championship for college football and crowning a champion this year in the world of the NCAA college football rank. But all right, you guys, that's going to do it for me this week. Thank you all so, so much for listening and watching and everything else like that. I really, really appreciate it so, so much. I can't thank you guys enough for all of that. Be sure to give the video a like, comment, and subscribe if you would. I'd appreciate that as well. And also, did you know that I stream on Twitch? Twitch and Twitter links are down below in the description. I'm going to try and maybe put, put something in the end card for those there if I can do that. I'm not sure if I can have to look at it. If you see it there in the end card, I figured it out. If you didn't, that I didn't figure it out. Next video, I'll try and work on it, but I'm pretty sure I can. Anyway, enough talking from me. I'm done. Y'all have a good one. Thank you all so, so much. I will see you all in the next video where the Ravens will go on the road night game to play the Los Angeles Rams. Until then, you guys, you know what to do. Keep on shining and keep on grinding. Thank you.